if you're thinking about doing an EDDM postcard campaign, which I hope you are because you can send these big, beautiful postcards. I love them. They're so big. You can send them to the neighborhoods, the areas of town, the section of town. You can pick a whole zip code if you want. And everyone instantly knows about your business. It's amazing. I'm going to show you how to pick the very best EDDM postcard routes. If you don't send it to the right places, you may not get the best response. I'm going to make it easy for you. I've done thousands and thousands and thousands of them. You're going to be good to go. My name is Jake, by the way, I own highresponsemarketing.com and printingforsupercheap.com. That's all we do is every door direct mail postcard marketing, helping little small local businesses just like yours. I got my computer here. It's off the screen, so you don't have to look at it, but I'm going to pull it up. I got to turn the OnlyFans off. I got to pull up the Every Door Direct Mail's website, eddm.usps.com. I'm going to show you the generic approach that I use to picking routes like 80, 90% of the time. You're gonna go to eddm.usps.com. This is the post office's actual site. You could put a zip code, you could put your street address, you could put a town name, you can put all sorts of search filters in there and it works. Super quirk about this site, it's very glitchy. It will often log you out when you have to log back in, it's a pain in the neck. Get in here, put in your thing, you'll see radius. If you didn't put a street address, it won't show that radius, but let's just say, let's put three miles. I live in not so dense of an area. I live in like a suburb, so it's a pretty pretty small area. It doesn't matter. It doesn't, whatever your geographic region is totally fine. And you'll see here, you've got this map on all these pink routes. You can click around these and see which one it's selecting. It's really cool. Every single one of these things that are highlighting in pink are mail carrier routes. You have to mail to an entire carrier route. They send these big giant postcards, right? They're really big. Traditional mail, you send the little tiny ones and it goes to a list and there's a lot of big audience demographics and, and that's great, but that's not for this video. EDDM is just big, giant postcards. They're, they're, they're giant. I love these guys right here. You have real estate, retail, lawn care, whatever. And you pick the, the neighborhoods you wanna mail. You gotta mail to an entire carrier route. So you. You look around here, you see them highlighted, and you click one. It turns blue. That means you've selected it, and you'll see that on the right, it populates and says how many mail pieces there are. Again, you have to mail to the whole thing. So in this case, it's 309. It's a pretty small route. Most of them are like 500, 600. I've seen them go as, much, as high as 1,000, but you'll have to look around yours and see. So maybe your shop is located here, and you want to hit these specific areas around it. You can click around and just click and see what kind of quantities are generated. It also generates the postage, which is really nice. It's actually, for the post office being as screwy as they are, they've really simplified this, which is nice. You also can click this blue thing that says post office drop-offs. You click that, and it'll show, this is the example of the post office's site glitching. It will glitch out. You have to sign out. Sign back in, so in, it's super annoying just dealing with these quirks. I'm, so I'm back in because I waited too long. You click a route, doesn't really matter. It generates the quantity. You click this and it will tell you where it needs to go. This is kind of important because you'll need to know where to actually bring the mailings. Whether you're having me or any online printer or local printer deliver the mailers to you, you have to prep them and bring them to the post office where they need to go. If you don't feel like doing any of that, reach out. My contact information is all below. You can call, text, email. Click the thing and you see how many pieces. Now you know, okay, to hit that whole carrier route, this whole section of town, it's about 500 people. So you would know, oh, I need to get 500 postcards, something to cover that amount, as well as you know the postage, which is cool. It helps you budget it. Burning for Super Cheap is the best place you can get for EDDM postcards, best everything. Plus you get to deal with me. You can switch this to residential routes only. You may not want to send to businesses. You might have uh, something that really doesn't cater to businesses, but you can switch to residential only and you'll see it drop. Now it takes those out. It's kind of hidden. It's in this residential thing here and you can click this. It's hidden how it does that. You can hit table over, over here by this map thing. You can hit table and you can see all the routes, which is really cool. You can see the demographics. The uh, This is census data. It may not be perfect, but it's pretty accurate. It'll give you an idea of what the income levels of different routes are, the household sizes, the age. And you can sort. You can click these things and sort them. So the strategy that I use, so you can see these are checkmarked because I had selected them, those routes or that route. But the method that I use, this the simplified method that works 80, 90% of the time, I sort try to sort it by high income. 
you might have to click this a couple times and it goes to higher income. And then I look a couple down. So we start at the top and we go a couple down. In most cases, you wanna send mailers to kind of the upper level, not the highest, in many areas, the most, the highest income parts are also older crowds. And sometimes you don't always want to hit the like old, super old money crowds. You might want to hit younger people who are wealthier. That's in general, that's kind of the best routes to go with. You can look at these, select them, and then look at them on the map. So I selected this one, which was a couple below, and I look at it on the map. Now I know this area. Which brings me to another point. You should use your own local knowledge. You should have some kind of idea of the, the, the area that you're kind of targeting and look at it and say, okay, these are great neighborhoods. I know this neighborhood. These are like these developments where you have a suburbia, you have the bigger houses. This is perfect if you're doing lawn services, remodeling, boutiques, a lot of retail. Like these are great demographics to target in general. So that's why I think in most cases, that's the best plan of action is just to look at not the very highest income routes, but a couple steps below it. That's my general go-to strategy. If you know that, that there's, a, there's a certain audience that you get customers from or you're trying to reach, then target those neighborhoods. This may be low-income neighborhoods. For the most part, I wouldn't suggest mailing to low-income neighborhoods because they're not typically... Uh, deal redeemers. People who are receptive to deals or sales or marketing in general just tend to be in the higher income crowds. The statistics always show that. You would think that people in lower incomes would want deals more and they would redeem deals better, but I can tell you if you sent, if you sent even like a, say a restaurant or pizzeria and you sent coupons to a lower income neighborhood versus a higher income neighborhood, you will see higher response from the higher income neighborhood. And I think the psychology behind that and why all the data always pushes towards that is because I think because people with more money tend to probably just be better with their money. They look for deals, they, they manage their finances better. So you'll just tend to find better response in higher income routes than you would at low income routes. Use your own local knowledge. Above all, just use your own local knowledge of where the people you're trying to target live and just pick it on the map. It's like, it's literally that simple. You have Pull it up, you click around, and you can see how many, this helps you budget how many, okay, I, if I wanna reach this area, it's gonna take this many mail pieces, how many am I gonna need for printing, how much is this for postage, and it make, just makes the process so easy. Now I'd like to show you a couple advanced strategies to picking routes, which may or may not be your thing, but it's something to consider. The first tip is to think about, I have a whole video on this, I'll, I'll try to put a marker up, on there is looking at outskirts, at towns that are outskirts. You have all this population in one area, but then there's these minor outskirts of towns. And these people come in to shop. This is a really overlooked way of marketing. If you have a business where people from outskirt towns come in, like a restaurant, a cafe, or even, even home services, that you, can, that you service certain areas. Look at those outskirt towns. They can be absolute gold mines. These little pockets of communities that maybe take 10, 15, 20, even 30 minutes away to drive, depends on your area, to get to. Those are great places to market. You can hit, sometimes you can hit the whole town in like one or two routes and cover the whole area. And these people never, they spend money and they never get marketed to. Like all the local businesses won't even be thinking of these. They, they never market to these outskirts. They're always like a band. If you live in one of these towns, you know what I'm talking about. It's like you drive into town every week or every two weeks and you get your groceries and you take a family out to eat and you shop at all the stores because you're trying to do everything while you're there and you're spending all this money and no one's ever marketing to you. No one's sending you any kind of offers or anything. And you can, you can do community cards like this. It's a big thing that I that I teach people to do. Put your business on the back of a card and then get a bunch of other advertisers, get some food places, get some other businesses that might wanna reach those areas too. And then you can take a big chunk of it. You get your ad for free. You make money on the ads that are sold here. You get this totally free plus make money and you send it to these little pockets of communities. 
If you live in one of these outskirt towns and you get one of these, no one ever sends you any marketing. You know, they don't, you're like forgotten about, but you're, yeah, you're spending all this money and you get these and it's like, yeah, we're going to go here. We're going to go, okay, we could go down here. We could go down here. I'm going to call this guy. It's great. And no one else is doing it. It's like, it's just such a pro tip. Look at these outskirt towns. It might be one carrier route, might be two carrier routes. Don't forget those people. It's a super pro tip. You learned it from me. The other advanced, super advanced strategy, I hope you're getting a lot out of this. Again, contact me if you've got any questions, if you need a quote on printing. If you're thinking about doing an every door direct mail campaign and you're worried that you're not getting the specs right or it's not markings are in the wrong place, you're worried it might get rejected by the post office, which happens all the time. I get emergency calls all the time about people who printed 10,000, 20,000 pieces and they got rejected, hit me up. I will personally check these over. My contacts below, you can call me, text me, email me, and make sure you're good to go. Whether I'm printing or not, it doesn't matter, hit me up. Now I'm gonna show you this insane method that no one has ever shown you before. I promise there's no one else doing something like this except me and hopefully now you. If you really, truly want to pick the best possible routes for EDDM, you can use this strategy. This is a great way to get a lot of the effectiveness of targeted mailings, but in the speed, quickness, big sizes, and just simpleness of EDDM. So pay attention. First, you would think of your exact demographic, like exact demographic of who you want to reach, like the precise clients you want to find customers, patients, whatever your business calls them. It could be homeowners, whether they're married, certain age ranges, income, the exact audience you're looking for. You spend about $100, $75 to $100, and you buy a list of those people. You can get it through me, you can get it through any data provider, totally worth the investment if you're trying to get your max response. And then you bring the list into Google My Maps. Google My Maps allows you to import data into a map. So you would take that spreadsheet of data, your customer list of where all of them live, and you import it with their addresses into Google My Maps. This is, this is totally free. So once you have the data, pull it into, and I'm using Salt Lake City. This is a, a recent uh, mailing list targeting a large part of Salt Lake City, and we did a, a targeted mailing to it, but this is how you would use that in this way to find the best EDDM routes. Import it in, and you will see in these map pop-ups where all of them live. This gives you a visual indicator of where all these people are living. Technically, you could heat map it with heat mapping software. We have that too, if you ever need a heat map. You can look and see where these people are living. Okay, these are all the exact people I'm looking to target. You can quickly find the EDDM routes of where they live. You can see the concentrations as we're going through here. You can see there's, there's large, thick concentrations of them in certain areas. Look, right here, there's a ton of them right here. Like I can see a lot of them living in this area here by Cherry Farms. We can look, we see Deer Run Road here. So we can go into EDDM, we type in Deer Run Drive, Utah. It's super smart, it finds it. You scroll in, you can see here, Cherry Farms Park, Cherry Farms Park. We know we're right in this area. Now I can instantly pick that whole route. So instead of going, I see they're here too. So I could pick this route too. This is a prime area. We know from that small investment that these are. this is just chock full of the people that you're targeting. And you can do an EDDM directly to this, which is 1,376 people. It will be significantly cheaper to send EDDM faster, larger postcards. And you can hit these pockets without having to spend as much on a targeted mail. When you find clusters of people living in a certain area, you'll find, all, you'll find other people like it. You'll find other people that are similar and hitting those whole routes. This is just a great way to, to find where your perfect customers are and hit the routes where they live, where you'll find more people just like them. So that is super pro advanced tip. It's something no one ever, no one else ever talks about it, but I use it all the time. You can too. If you have any questions, I hope this helps. I hope you're doing an EDDM campaign. I want to see your business have, start building a little ATM machine on a postcard. Hit me up. You, you can call me anytime. You can text me, email me, call me, whatever. Me or one of my minions will, will help you. I could like free guide. You better download that. You better keep watching my videos.